Hey everyone, it's Chase. Welcome to Stubbs Aquatics. Today, my dad is going to talk about buying fish 101. Stay tuned. Hi there, and welcome back to Stubbs Aquatics. I want to thank my son for that great intro, and he uh, really stepped up for me uh, at Christmas. Got me uh, a mic so you can actually hear me instead of me just mumbling and carrying on. Well, back to the topic at hand, which is buying fish 101. And like everyone else, I have my own method. But what I wanted to do is share my 50 plus years experience on buying fish and especially in the early years of basically killing fish because I didn't really know what I was doing. See, there was no internet then. You had to rely on books, other people, and your local fish store. And quite often back then, the local fish store was just interested in selling you fish. And no one really did a lot of research on what fish to buy. It just whatever struck your fancy and you went in, bought it, didn't do anything with it, put it in your tank and two weeks later they died. And this is really disheartening, especially with the younger generation who are just starting out in the hobby. And this is who I really want to help. And those of us that need a bit of a refresher sometimes because of impulse buying. The best advice I can give you is first, check your water conditions. See what kind of water you have. If it's hard, then I would suggest finding a species that uh, is adaptable to hard water or likes hard water. If you don't know how to check, what I suggest you do is take your water sample to your local fish store. If they're any good, they're going to test your water and tell you everything in it. That way they're going to be able to hopefully sell you a kit. If they can't be bothered doing that, that maybe that store may be not be, be the right one for you. Well, let's go back to uh, the concept of buying fish. First, figure out what fish you want. Do some research on it. A lot of research. Figure out that's the fish you want. Okay. And then you'd go to a trusted local fish store. Or a spot that you know that you'll get them. Now I cleaned out this uh, tank here, uh, all but a couple fish, just to keep it cycled. So I, I'm not going to have to really worry about quarantining, but you still should give them a little bit of a salt bath before entering, just to make sure there's uh, no hidden uh, parasites coming into your tank. So with your fish in mind, in this case, it's a uh, believe it or not barbs. It's uh, going to be tiger barbs. They're, you know, a very popular fish in the industry. But I wanted to get some tiger barbs simply because I haven't had them in, well, at least 40 years or more. Um, and I didn't know what I was doing back then. I know a lot more now, and I'm ready to keep tiger barbs in this tank. And I also wanted to put a bit of a tribute out to T-Bones, who we recently lost, who was a huge fan of tiger barbs. So, as I said, this is the tank I cleaned out, and, you know, you can see off to the side what I have in it is a few checkered barbs and a few cherry barbs. They're going to get along well. They're in the same water conditions, because that's really important that you pick all the fish that are going to like that same water condition, and you'll really save yourself a lot of headache. Uh, also, make sure that they all like the same temperature range. That, again, is very, very important, because... If you have one that likes cooler water at 72 and your other fish like it at 84, guess what? Your fish that, that liked it at 72 are not really going to like it at 84 and vice versa. So let's go off to the local fish store. In this case, it's about an hour and 15 minute drive. So not so local. So as, as you can see, we're entering the store. I'm seeing uh, sales prices. Look out. Okay, stay focused here, Stub. Head to the, where the fish are. And like I said before, let's not do impulse buying. Like these beautiful quarries. Man, they're nice. But I don't have anything set up for them. And they're not in my pocketbook at $20 each. That's for darn sure. So I've gone over to the barb section in uh, this store. Uh, what I'm doing now is I'm going to study the tank. I'm looking for fish that are straggling off by themselves. Or that have uh, open wounds or any fu fungus or white dots on them. 
everything looks good now I see that some of these tiger barbs are bent down now normally I would get worried about it but it's because of the current in the tank and with barbs especially tiger barbs they'll angle themselves down uh, to go with the current um, that's perfectly normal that's fine but I'm going to study this tank for a good 15 minutes now I'm not going to take you through this whole process of studying a tank for 15 minutes because that's just going to be a long boring video for you but I can't stress it enough study the tank and once you're confident then go see uh, your person up, up uh, at the front or whoever is going to serve you and then tell them the fish that you want now because there's so many in here I can't say I want this one this one and this one what I can suggest is hey I like uh, the traditional tiger barbs this is what I want and I want larger sized mainly and uh, let's see what we can do on the price too if I'm buying more than six is there a better price if I buy nine I always ask it never hurts and I'm lucky enough that it's a 25% off sale today so I really hit the jackpot today and while I'm there I got sidetracked of course with melon barbs now you can see these beautiful melon barbs and I would really like some now I'm not set up for them right now so I'm gonna to have to hold off plus I'm not really liking the price at ten dollars a piece and because they're barbs you're gonna to need to have at least eight or nine if not more for them to act properly in a tank and what I mean by act properly in a tank is they're not picking on other fish other than themselves barbs tend to well only be jerks to their own kind of barb and that's usually over dominance especially when there's a male to female ratio or not a proper male to female ratio but I sure would like some of these melon barbs because they they fit under my water conditions and that's what I'm looking at but that's another topic for another day now I am going to buy some additional black ruby barbs and it's not really on this topic but it's just because it's barbs and what happens a lot of the time when you buy fish uh, from a fish store is they'll mainly get in males and a lot of people will breed for more male dominance and what happens is you'll buy six or nine uh, fish and you'll end up having seven males uh, it might look good but remember what I said earlier about male dominance and if there's not enough females basically to keep them in line you're gonna have a bit of a problem so I decided to buy a few more barbs hoping to uh, equal out the numbers that I have on black rubies um, I certainly like uh, a good ratio of male to female it works so much better uh, with most species well we've got our fish now we're gonna head home now what you want to do uh, before you uh, uh, put your fish in your tank is acclimatize them for a good 15 to 20 minutes simply because you've uh, taken them from a different spot where they they're gonna have different water temperature you've taken them for a drive for an hour and 15 minutes so the temperatures probably dropped and now you want to warm it back up to a proper temperature and not do it abruptly so once we've done that you're gonna for me I'm gonna salt them or if you got methylene blue you might give them a quick bath in it if you're not going to quarantine and like I said before I would normally quarantine but I had enough fish in here just to cycle and that was it so I wasn't worried about it well I've now introduced these fish into the tank as you can see here uh, they're behaving properly now what I suggest you do is give them a light feed a very light feed just to get them comfortable and get them comfortable with seeing you and relating you to food so now you've introduced them you've fed them just keep an eye on them make sure there's not uh, one or two that are going off to the sides um, you are going to see a bit of a struggle there when I say struggle it's going to be a bit of a battle to see who's got the dominance well I hope this helped a few of you who uh, had some problems buying some fish 
or or new to the uh, hobby and wanted to buy fish again more research the better i can't uh, stress that enough i want to thank everyone for watching if you like this video and found it helpful please hit that like button think about subscribing and hit that, that notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming videos take care everyone we'll see you real soon bye for now